Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going back to Sprocket and I'm going to make a tank inspired by the Object 292. So if you don't know, the Object 292 was a prototype Soviet vehicle based on the TAT chassis and then housed a 152mm smoothbore cannon. So the basic idea was they were going to take the TATs and upgrade it with a 152mm gun instead of the now still in service 125mm gun. Basically just a way to up arm the uh, T-80s and to be able to punish for the NATO armor but it never went through and it only went to the prototype stage. So what I'm going to do is basically make something similar for my fictional country. This country is a Nordic country but they have a lot of Soviet vehicles and they did use T-72s and T-72 and uh, T-80s inspired vehicles of their own. So I'm going to start off with the hull, basically make it the typical Russian shape and uh, give it a little over lip at the top just to make it look more like it's a proper piece of armor and it's going to be composite so I'm going to make it around 200 millimeters of armor so it should be pretty good and I'll also add some at the lower plate because that's normally weak spot for Russian tanks decided to make this little slot out of the frontal armor to have a little vision port for the driver so he can at least see where he's going so I decided to make it three vision ports so the driver has a bit more visibility than on the Russian tanks so this vehicle is also going to be using a uh, 1600 horsepower gas turbine engine so it's very mobile because this is supposed to be a mid 2000s type of uh, vehicle mid 2020s rather and it's going to be for the uh, export market primarily but it was also looked at the uh, country's defense if it was viable or not i showed some interest but uh, yeah and then at the sides i'll probably make it like 80 basically the same as many russian tanks i'm going to give this thing at the front 200 mils and see how it does uh, i think for the upper front plate i'm gonna make it 250 millimeters so it's a uh, properly like composite armor and then the lower will stay 200 millimeters Just like the Russian tanks, the turret is going to be mainly cast, but it's going to have composite slits in the front as well to give it great protection. And then the ammunition is at the back because this thing will also be uh, with a parcel load auto loader instead of the uh, classic Russian carousel auto loader, which means it's going to be more survivable and it's going to have a better uh, reload because the ammunition has uh, less distance to travel. So this vehicle is not going to use a 152mm, but instead it's going to use a uh, 125mm, like the Russian one, because it's mainly made for the export. But there will be a, a prototype that also has a uh, larger gun, probably also a 152 or 155mm, something like that. So this vehicle is also going to feature blowout panels and uh, CITV and all those other things that modern tanks has also laser winning receiver and laser range finder typical of what most modern mbts have because this is going to be a modern mbt if you would like me to show you how i do my custom parts for tanks like uh, citvs gunner optics custom mantlets custom uh, fenders or other parts like cannon barrels or even engine decks please let me know down in the comments then I might make a video about it. I'm now just adding detailing like extra storage boxes at the back or fuel tanks and other little details just to make this tank a bit more realistic and also going to add a uh, camo at the end.
And there we have our modern MBT prototype. It is uh, known as the X16 or the E16. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned that out. Let me know in the comments what you think of this thing and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and goodbye.